Alright, what's up everybody? My name's Derek. And I'm Kurt. And today, there is two new tie-dye players. Um, you can get a guaranteed tie-dye player today with this set right here. We got it done. We have the pack waiting. So we will be opening that up at the end of the video today. So you are guaranteed a limited time. I think so, yes. This, this is the first I've seen of this ever, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, is weird. That they guarantee you a limited time. So why is it a limited time? I don't it, know. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like a limited time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, I just don't know. I don't but know. But we are going to be still trying to pull for the limited time. We got... Oh. All right, guys. So we have limited time Darius Slay, which looks really good. He He's actually... 95 speed and 97 zone coverage, which is really good. He's actually... Pretty cheap for a limited time and how good he is. Actually. And then Trent Williams. I haven't seen anything about this card, so I haven't either, but Trent Williams always has you know, he's he's a pretty good offensive lineman. But um but yeah, so we're gonna be opening the eighty seven plus overall color. Yeah, we could be opening today. up the packs, but I have so much training and honestly the packs aren't very good for us and I'd rather save my coins. So oh, we're gonna yeah. be opening up some of these but we do have two questions today, and the first one comes from Rain. He asks, what should the Chargers do about their quarterback situation? The Chargers? Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to draft someone. I know there was rumors about them um, getting Cam Newton. I can, I can see that too. But I think, all right, guys, so if there's any weird cuts, it's because the servers are kind of like not very, just not very good right now. So, um, so, yeah, but what I was saying was I think they should just draft somebody – in the uh or get get a quarterback in the draft and maybe i don't know i mean there's still you could still get cam newton and, and stuff but in my opinion i think the chargers are kind of in like a rebuilding mode oh, they, yeah. lost, they lost some big players and uh and i just I feel like he was no maybe maybe i just don't like the direction their team is going but who knows no. who knows they still got keenan allen austin eckler's a beast but I don't know. I guess it just depends if they think they are rebuilding or not. Um, what do you think? What, what would you do if you were the GM? If I was the GM, I would go get like a cheap veteran quarterback just to mentor the rookie that I'm about to draft. You know, that's not that's not a bad idea. And that's about who, who it. Who did the Giants I, get? They got Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy. Which yeah. I actually like. They needed the backup quarterback. If if Daniel Jones ever got hurt, like I, I don't want him to get hurt, obviously. Colt McCoy is actually very good. I think yeah. he's very good. He just he hasn't been. He has gotten some chances, but the chances he's got hasn't been like he's been hasn't been thrown into the best situation, you know, oh, yeah. or on the best team. So, um, somebody like that, or like Josh McCown, some like behind yeah. somebody. Yeah. I think that'd be good for him. Like a very cheap veteran, even Brian Hoyer. Yeah, something like that. A cheap veteran quarterback that you could probably get for maybe two mil and just have him mentor. That That's really all yeah. you need. Because you don't need people like Brett Favre or Aaron Rodgers or Matt Ryan to mentor. Yeah. You could just go get a cheap veteran. I mean, if you have them on your team before you draft, then by all means, have them mentor. But you don't need that. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But, um, so that's what we think about that. Let us know what you guys think about that. It's a... Uh... Oh, big one, big one. Oh! Let's go. Win the time. Let's go. Yes. Yes. 82,000 coins. Let's go. That's uh, not bad. Oh, man. I guess he is a 93. I'm looking at it, and it's like, he's only a 93, you know. Yeah, it, his, I mean, for a 93, his, that looks really good. His stats aren't the best, yeah. but for a 93, that's not too bad. The run block power kind of thing. I heard his speed is really good. 75. 75 speed. That's, that's not, not bad. bad. Um, and we pulled limited. I'm surprised he still got a card because he didn't play most of the year, you know. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, or he but could the get a, situation that he didn't play in was yeah, it was because of his head and the helmet and, 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 and the team just didn't really care. Honestly. Yeah. Well, we pulled we, limited. We pulled limited time, limited. and that was like out of a legit 87 plus. Yes. So not it bad. Wasn't, it wasn't the lucky pack. I've I've seen people, you know. On Twitter and being like, or videos like, fifth limited time pull. I, we haven't pulled. We we we're we That's opened our pack. second. We pa we open packs. No, I'm talking about just from this promo. Oh yeah. yeah. 
because there is nine, there is ninety threes and stuff, so they are easier to pull. Yeah. But, but you know, it yeah, is, I was thinking back to back. I wish, oh. I wish that was awesome. That was awesome. But um, but yeah, we do have one more question. It comes from CJ, and he asks, "What is our opinion on Odell to the 49ers? Now, personally. I've never heard of this. I I haven't heard this. I've heard this. You have? I have. I tried looking it up, and I couldn't really find anything about They're it. They're thinking but. about trading Odell for, I think, one of their first picks, the 49ers' first picks. Okay. Um, Which, there's, honestly, there's pro- doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. Um, it just depends on how much the Browns actually believe in Odell. I don't think they do. Yeah, and if they and if if they don't and they can get a first round pick for him, I think that's good. Exactly. But I I still believe in Odell. I I mean I do too. The situation, like, just the bad situations he's been in, like even at the Giants, he yeah. he was in some bad situations when with Ben McAdoo. Ugh. Yeah. But well, uh, yeah, just. <sighs> I think okay. So here's the thing, um, Forty Nine is not gonna have a crazy high pick. No. But. It's like it's still a first round pick. It's still though. a first round pick, so that's that. There's definitely value there, no matter what, where it's at. And they could get like a second and third. You yeah, know. I mean a lot. You can get a lot of good players from second and third rounds, right? Mm-hmm. So first round, any anywhere in the first round is really good. Um, but they did lose Emmanuel Sanders, and I think this would be. You do have Debo, but you still need like. I don't a, think they you, had. Re- I mean. They they do have good wide receivers, but I don't think they had that extreme amazing talented wide receiver. You, you are you saying like a Julio? Yes, like okay. a Julio, DeAndre Hopkins. And I feel like if Odell went there, I feel like that would be their extreme talent. Yeah, um, I think it would be good for the 49ers, and I think it would be good for the Browns. Yes, especially if the Browns don't believe him in him, you'd get a lot for him, or you'd get. If you don't believe him, you'd get something good. That's a first round pick, you know. Yes. You're freeing up cap space. They could go get another wide receiver. Yeah. Like the, and the wide receivers in this draft are really good. And I don't think the Browns necessarily need a wide receiver. No, I don't think so either. But um But they could get a lineman. They could get two yeah, linemen. That that yeah. Um, make Baker make Baker's life so much easier. Yeah, they already got one lineman that was yes. really good. But uh I think it would really just take that Emmanuel Sanders loss and make it really not bad at all because mm-hmm. it, I think Odell will either be the same or better. Oh, you know? actually, I think the 49ers, they got traded Eric Armstead, remember? Yeah. So that's maybe the pick because the Colts had um, like the 8th through 13th, one of those picks. Mm-hmm. So I think that's the pick that they would trade for. So that actually makes this a little better. Maybe. It... Are you you know you're talking about like next year's pick? It's based on this upcoming season, right? Oh, that's next year's pick. I thought it was this year's pick. I'm was, pretty sure it's this year's. pick. It was this year's pick. Yeah. You think? Yeah, I'm pretty okay. sure. You want to look it up? All right, guys. So we just looked it up. Um, the pick that the 49ers got from the Colts is the 13th overall. Yes. So I don't know if that's the one they're thinking about trading to the Browns, but. Either way, whatever first round pick you get, if they get the if they get the thirteenth, I think that's really good. Oh yeah. But even if it's like in the twenties or something like that, yeah. I still think that's good value. Yes. No matter what, it's good value. I I I, for, I totally forgot about that trade. I think I think I think this trade, if it does happen, I personally I haven't heard anything. You said you've heard stuff about mm-hmm. it, but I think it could be good good for both teams. Really, oh, honestly, yeah. really good for both teams. Frees up cap fit, space for the Browns. Gets rid of a player that maybe the Browns don't believe in. And honestly, do they really need him with Jarvis Landry? Yeah, Jarvis yeah. Landry's a beast, man. Yeah. I mean, you guys might say that he's not as good as Odell, but Jarvis is a beast. I, and I, I love honestly Jarvis. I feel Jarvis is better than Odell. I mean, last year he was. He was. Yeah, I so, feel like the year before, too. And the question is, can Odell return to him to return to his old self? Yeah. Um, but anyway, that is what it is. Um, that's what we think about that. I didn't really know too much about this, but mm. if they could get a first round pick, that that'd be pretty good. And I think that'd really fill fill a void on the 49ers team. But we got this random tie dye player, um, 93 we, to 96. We did pull a limited by like what, what's the word? I'm looking Just 
out of a legit pack. Yeah, we legitimately pulled this limited time. This one is kind of not legitimately, yeah. but unless it's we a pull, free... unless we pull a Darius Slay, which I, that's what we want. So you, go you ahead. You want me to open it? Go ahead. You All pulled right. the first one. Let's keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. I don't know. Darius Slay, man. Okay. It is. It is what it is. Um. I really wanted that Darius Slay. You got 160 coins. 160. That what? Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean from both of them combined? Well, I'd probably like sell them on the market at ninety thousand. Yeah, I would too. A little bit more. All right, guys. So we did go on Tyler's account to get this one more tie dye player. I, I want wanna, that Darius Slay. I want to pull that Darius Slay, guys. I'll open this one. You open this. But one. um, I pulled both Trents, so maybe I'm just the Trent one. Yeah. This guy. Let us let you us know. Let us know if you guys have any luck. Had any luck with these and pulled like. The Darius Slay or the 87 pluses, and let's let me let us know how you guys are doing today with these limited time packs or limited time players. But you ready? Yes. Give me the Darius Slay, bro. Darius Slay. Give me the Darius Slay. Adam Thielen. What? Adam Thielen. You you could. I didn't know, even know you could still pull him. I felt like I did, but I didn't know. For sure. It was limited time, like, last week. We still pulled a 96. Limited time. 96. 260,000. So, so like, say say you're buying the letters, right? I think it's about close to 150,000. Yeah. So, the only way to actually make coins is with, you know, the, uh, what's it called? Um, I'm pulling, pulling a 96. If you pull yeah. the 93... You lose coins, a good amount of coins, but it's still you, you can time. make like we made about a, l a little over a hundred thousand just from that pull. But that's pretty good. That's pretty good, guys. Me and Derek are gonna try and grind and do this on our no money spent. So, but we're not spending no coins. We're gonna be doing the solos and stuff. We'll try. It's gonna be tough, but we have we have a method, and you guys will see that in the next no money spent. But. 96 Adam Thielen. I can't believe we did that. Can you, you believe that? that? I did that, yeah. You did that. But I... Oh, man. He's not 96. He's not necessarily 96, but he goes for 260,000 yeah. coins. Yeah. And that's all I care about right now. But, um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Three limited time pulls. Three limited time pulls. And one was a 96. That was pretty dope. That was pretty dope. One of them we actually got... From the 87 plus. Yeah, which was awesome. Yeah, that's, I, that was, I wasn't expecting it. That was awesome. That I really wasn't expecting that. And uh, but yeah, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Let us know. A little disappointed with the tie dye stuff and the stuff they dropped yeah. today. Um, I thought they were gonna drop like a whole second part. They just dropped a, a set of limited times. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's but um, but heck, you guys are able to get a free a 93 time. to 96. Limited time. If you hit a 96, you're making some coins. Um, you know, I think it's worth the shot. It's like, what do you think? One and even if you do the solos, you're still making coins. Yeah, and actually, and candy. Actually, you'll see in our no money spent video. But there is, you can make a lot of coins and stuff off of this. And yeah, you guys will see that. What 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 is? It'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow. In our in our uh, no money spent. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. If you guys enjoy, leave a like and subscribe until next time. Peace. Peace.